Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we are continuing planting. These are accident plantings. Um, if you guys go back and watch some of my previous planting videos, I wasn't able to find cucumbers and good uh, tomatoes and stuff this year. But going through my stash that I had bought at the end of last year, I ended up finding some. And this brings me into my excitement. We have, let's see if this tells me how many we got here. We have, I don't know, it's probably 72 or something like that. And it's, I'm hoping it's all going to be cucumbers. So cucumbers have to be planted about a half inch deep. So we're going to start by putting potting soil in the bottom of these and bring it up to roughly a half inch from the top. So let's get busy on that. And I just take the potting soil and I grab handfuls and I just kind of try to not do what I did and fill them up, but kind of get them about an inch from the top. Luckily I'm on my outdoor table, so yes, I am making a mess, but no, it's not going to matter. So you guys get the general idea of what I'm doing here. So I'll bring you right back. So anyways, like I said, I'm getting ready to do some cucumbers. Hopefully we'll be able to do this whole thing. Colton is joining us. So we're going to start out with the regular cucumbers. Uh, mark it more. And we'll open this up. We'll get the seeds out. Now I like to plant roughly two seeds per, but for right now I'm going to do one in each one and see how far that gets me because I like half of them to be this and half of them to be the pickling ones. And I want to make sure that I have enough to do that. And I left them down approximately a half an inch so I can just put dirt potting soil over top of it. I don't think I'm going to have enough to put two in each one. And I don't even think I'm going to have enough. Get one stuck in my hand there. It looks like I've got these two unplanted. So. Now we'll grab, well that was only just a pack of those. Yeah, I've got more. Okay, so now we'll do the other half of it being the pickling ones. But we want to take and mark this one here in just a second of what I've got in here. So now we'll do the smaller pickling ones in the other half. We may go back and make put two seeds in each one. Okay, I'm having problems getting that open. All right. Oh, these are even smaller, of course. I think I got them all out. And now we'll plant the second half. And you guys know how this goes. You've already seen this being done, so I'll bring you back when we get them planted. Okay, so we got these here all about a half inch under, and that's all good to go. So I'm going to set these aside. And next we're going to do, I know this is going to be a wind, supposed to be a window box, but I'm not going to make it into a window box. Uh, it's got a little wasp nest on it. Try to get that off there. Uh, these are new, but they've been sitting around a long, long, long time. And so they've got wasp nest on them. I got to get off of there. They're old. So anyway, so we got these. And I think with these, I'm going to plant the rest of the sweet banana peppers and the habanero hot peppers. So once again, I'm going to do the same thing. Put a little bit of dirt in each one of these, pot and soil in each bottom of each one of these. And then I'll plant them and then I'll put it back over and then I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so I decided to go ahead. I have 
three packs of uh, seeds left of cucumber. Two the marketplace bigger cucumbers and one the small cucumber. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a little bit of a line here. And I'm just going to randomly plant these in here. Because these are going to be for transplant. Now these little things here, you get them at the, in the baking aisle where your pots and pans and stuff are at the dollar store. Um, I buy them for when I plant inside. It's great for catching the water. If you noticed in my last video, I had some more like bread loaf size ones. And I can put little pots in it and put it in the house. And when I water them, they don't get everywhere. And we're just going to use one of those. We're going to... No holes, no nothing. Because we know that these here need to be about, oh, a half inch. I don't want the seeds clumped all together. Because I am going to transplant these. Once they grow. So you don't want two growing right beside each other. You know, you want a little distance. Oh, about that, that much in between of them. As best as you can. I don't expect every single one of these to sprout. But if, if I get three quarters germination out of them, then I can pull some of these out and uh, transplant them. And I don't want to save these until next year because these are from end of season last year. Okay, so now that we got those, I'll take one of the packs and I'll put it down in there. And I always just fold them over. I can tell by the picture what they are when I go to mark them. Uh, this one we can go ahead and throw in the trash. The little small national pickle, pickling ones. Well, um, we only have one pack of those, so it only gets about a quarter or less of the tray. Now these are going to be done old fashioned. These are going to be, you can see there's not pots, you know, individual pots like in this and around that one. <clears throat> these are just randomly planted. Kind of like you'd have done back in the olden days. And it worked. So we know that we only want these to be half inch underground. So, we want to pay attention. That's about what it is up to the top. So, we'll fill this up to the top. I don't smash them down or nothing. I don't, I want it to be, I want the dirt to be airy. So, my plants will pop up through them quicker and easier and have a chance to have a healthier plant. Just my personal opinion. I'm not a professional. Like I said, you guys go back and watch my old videos from last year. I failed. So, that being said, that right there is about what I want. I'm just barely patting it just to level it out. I'm not hitting any pressure whatsoever. Okay, so there we go. So now we have three new things to go into the greenhouse if we can get them to fit. Let me retransfer you guys over there and get you set up, and we'll see if we can make them fit. Well, if I could hit the pause button. Okay, we're shooting for that one empty shelf right there. So let's see what we can get them set up as. Okay, I had to do a little bit of shuffling around. Everything didn't fit. So, we'll go ahead and get these watered in. I'll show you what I did. Get them in water, get them watered in really good.
Okay. So basically what I had to do was put the larger one that's got all cucumbers in it. And then I had to switch one from over there to over here and put the other planter here. And then for now I had to put that small one, uh, let's get the cameraman awake here. I had to put the smaller one down there. So let me get the lids on them and get this greenhouse closed up. Okay, so there we have it. It's all closed up and ready to go. So there you guys can see over the last few four or five videos that the greenhouse is all ready to go. Uh, some for transplant. Well, basically all of them for transplant. I do still want to get four larger, you know, like a heirloom or big boys, something of that nature. I'd like to get four of those to put in the center in that little raised bed. Those will stay in there. Um, some of that stuff will stay. Some of it will be transplanted. Anyway, so that's probably going to conclude the whole greenhouse section of videos and stuff, which will be pretty much this week's videos. You know, I've got several coming in. Um, if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up. Like the video. Comment down below. Click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And while you're at it, go ahead and smash that bell notification. Go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. And I've got stuff. It's cottonwood season here. If you guys don't know anything about cottonwood, you trust me, you're very lucky. It's little fuzzy things that float all through the air and it clogs up your air conditioners. It's, it's really bad and it's aggravating to say the least. Anyway, share us on your social media pages and follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I may have got my greenhouse done a little too late, but I got it done. I think it's going to do very good this year. I'm still my own cameraman, which means I got to get up close and personal and poke you guys in the ear to turn this thing off. Hope you have a super, 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 super great day.